Hello everyone and welcome to the new Honda HR-V which enters into its third generation with a bit more stylish looks and lots of interior options as well. So in today's video, let's find out what's what in this new Honda HR-V. But before we move forward, please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that red subscription button and next to that there's a bell icon make sure to press that and leave all the notifications on so that way you will never miss any video updates from my channel now on this new honda hrv there are three particular models which are offered which is your dx ex and the lx and the particular model that i am reviewing is the hrv ex and if you look at the look of the new hrv it's much more sleeker and much more different than the previous generation because let's be honest the previous generation was stretched a little too long and it was a bit too you know thick at some places so yeah they've done some chopping and some redesigning and looks pretty sleek now so let's start from the front here you get this blacked out grill out here in this glossy color and also it's like a 3d kind of a grill which has got the curves and everything and also it's got the chrome honda badging out here then there are these sleeker headlights and these headlights are now offered in the completely led headlights and they also have the led drs and also the led turn signals both are on top of each other out here and when you come to the fog lights there are also ones which are given out here again these are the led fog lights there's also a chrome strip at the bottom and below that there is a glossy bit of plastic and some normal plastic grill which has been given out here and also a newly built bonnet design out here so the overall look of this new hrv is much more sleeker and it's much more elegant in many sense because yeah as i mentioned the old car was a little bit thicker in many ways so the sleekness of the new hrv continues even on the side profile and quite frankly less lines and more curvy surfaces which looks pretty good if you look at it from the side profile and also if you notice it looks slightly lower and also a little longer i don't know let me know in the comment section below what do you think do you feel it looks like you know slightly longer and also a little bit lower as well because i definitely feel it looks a lot more you know longer when you look at it in person now once we continue on the sides you get 17 inch rims out here in this gray color design out here honestly black would have looked nicer but yeah i don't mind with these as well there are also black color glossy black ones side arches out here so that you don't yeah scratch your fenders or anything even at the bottom there are these black color glossy and not just that they cover the door frame as well so the main chassis frame itself so whenever you open so your frame inside wouldn't get dirty so it's going to be easier in and out and you would dirty your pants as well when you come to these side mirrors these are power foldable side mirrors they are also power adjustable they also have the led turn signals inside them and they are the body colored side mirrors as well there is also a black rubber surround out here and when you come to these doors these are smart keyless entry doors in the front both of them because in the back if you notice like the older hrv as well there are no door handles so it gives you that flowy look out here instead the door handles are built on this frame out here in the corner so when you pull them yeah you can open it as well so in terms of the lines as i mentioned yeah there is only one thick shoulder line that goes till the back and then there are these couple of arches on both the sides uh, in the front and the back and again in the back as well there is also a glossy black plastic bit that you get and a bit of a curving roof line that you get on this new hrv now the rear is also one of the key areas where there have been a lot of design changes on the new hrv in terms of the new tail lights and also overall appearance of the rear end as well so when you come to these tail lights these are a mixture of halogen and led tail light cluster the halogens are the turn signals while the brake lights and all of that is your leds and there's also a light bar now that you get on this hrv which is standard across all the models even from your base model so it looks actually pretty good to be honest let me know in the comment section below what do you think of this new tail light because yeah a lot of manufacturers have been adding this as well and 
to be honest i like it because it looks sleeker also and particularly at night it looks rather nicer there are also these hrv badges out here in the chrome honda badging out here again more chrome strip out here with your reflector strip and a glossy black bumper which yeah i feel might become a little more scratchy once you start wiping it and once you start cleaning it and the exhaust tip is mounted on the right side underneath that bumper on the back side and when it comes to the visibility it's actually pretty decent on the hrv you can see quite a lot of things around and the pillars are not going to be that much of a problem because the visibility is quite taller even though the glass is a little bit sloping now when you come to the boot space on this hrv when the rear seats are up you can put 335 liters of luggage in the back and the boot floor itself is pretty even although it's just that it's slightly smaller than the previous generation now because the floor is slightly raised up as a result of that one advantage is that there is no lip out here so you can easily slide your luggage in and out without any fuss and there are also scruff plates which are given out here the plastic ones but that yeah there is a slight reduction of the boot space as well there are also smaller pocket spaces on both the sides and there are also boot lights on either side as well at the bottom of the floor there is a proper full size spare wheel which has been given along with the toolkit and everything and these rear seats are foldable in a ratio of 60 is to 40 and they are a bit fiddly because you have to press it a little harder than usual but when you fold them down you can put 1274 liters of luggage and one good thing is that the boot floor is completely flat so you can load in a lot of objects out here flatter ones and that is possible because the seats actually fold down completely onto the floor and then you can yeah get this flatter surface and that's one good thing because that you can now consume a lot of boot space and usable one that you get on this one there are also tying points in here so that you can tie your luggage and stuff but there's one more cool feature that comes with pretty much every honda it's called as the honda magic seat and nearly every honda comes with this feature as well so there's a lever underneath the seat so when you pull that you can raise these seats lock them in place let me do it for the other one as well yeah <clears throat> when i do that let me lock it in now when i do that you can utilize this area in the rear seat as well which can be used to load taller objects so there are plants or anything that you want to carry around or you want any taller objects you can just put it in here and then you can utilize this space and also the boot space which makes this honda quite practical for everyday use and it's also quite easier to just use it and then if you are done with it you can just lower these seats and then put them back and then you have your rear seats back again now when you jump inside the interior of the new hrv it's much more simpler and easier to use just like the older generation as well so when you come to the material quality you get plastic dashboard out here hard plastic so lots of plastic is used out here by the way and out here soft touch even on the sides there's a bit of this hard sort of plastic and then even out here plastic the bottom plastic of these door cards out here again soft on the sides where you're going to be resting your legs slightly during the journey but at the bottom is just normal plastic out here again it's normal plastic on this horizontal surface again it's just slightly harder plastic that has been used and overall it's kind of an all right cockpit experience that you get it's again as i said it's much more simplified so everything has dials and buttons and everything to operate for it when you come to the driver's display you get two traditional dials on both the sides your analog dials one for your speedometer and one for the rpm and in the center you would find a small screen that screen i feel just tends to be a little bit jumbled because there's a lot of information that you can see sometimes so in terms of the information that you can see you can see your trip details like how much you're averaging and your total kilometers covered trip a trip b then when you go up you can see your the range and your fuel economy that you're doing in your trip a trip b again and then you have the information 
then if you have any information like your warnings or anything and then if you can leave the screen blank also you can do that but there will be some information at the bottom then there is the customized display option then there is the settings and your clock settings vehicle settings all of that which are inside this one so your your uh, headlights your doors and all of that setting is inside this screen and the next uh, option is your safety system so if any of your safety systems like your lane keep assist and all of that is on you can switch it on and off from here as well then there is the seat belt warning which will show you which passenger uh, if it is occupied that seat has worn the seat belt or not so that's one more safety feature that you get on this one and then when you come back it's your you are back to your main menu so that is it's pretty simplified but yeah when you have the the numbers and figures on your screen that tends to be a little you know yeah too much on your screen sometimes when you are watching it and then it can feel a little overloaded also sometimes in terms of the information that is displayed especially because it's a small screen which is why otherwise if it was a larger screen it would have been a little more spaced out but otherwise it's still decent because there's a lot of information that you can see from there now when you come to this steering wheel this is a leather covered white stitch steering wheel which is a circular one and it's got a decent size to it and on your right side you would find the buttons for your adaptive cruise control so you get adaptive cruise control with low speed lane assist and everything and even the following of the vehicle at low speed so it's a pretty good one that you get on this hrv because it is like a compact suv and on that you get these features and on the left side you would find the controls for your infotainment and the communication and all your media controls which are given out here and the steering wheel is also adjustable which is your tilt and telescopic so you can find the right fit when you are driving but overall it's it's a decent one there are also paddle shifters given out here but it's a cvt gearbox so yeah i mean paddle shifters is all right now when you come to the air conditioning control straightforward dials and buttons are given on this one and the best part about this is these dials they have a very satisfying clicking sound so hear it Ooh, yeah it's really satisfying so the operation is quite simple so there's an on and off button out here and then that same dial can be used for your fan speed and then in the middle there is the circulation of air where you want the air to flow from and also on the left side you would find the dial for your air conditioning temperature whatever you want to set at so it's a single zone air conditioning system and then there are also more buttons given for your recirculation of air ac on and off and all that and there are also now vents which have this dial given on either side on on the passenger and the driver side so you can have the air flowing from your vents or you can have the diffused air so it will just diffuse it and not you know blow it on your face when you are driving or when you are sitting in the passenger seat so you can adjust that or you can switch it off as well so even that dial has a pretty good quality to it and even the touch to it but then yeah these dials are just absolutely very good i like it and not just that the uh, temperature dial keeps changing color as well so when you go cold it becomes blue and then when you go hot temperature when you increase it it just becomes red and then when you leave it it becomes white so yeah that's also one more thing which has been given now when you come to this infotainment screen this is the one which needed the most improvement and i am glad to report that this infotainment screen is an eight inch pretty good display although still it can be improved in terms of its you know overall appearance because it's still yeah it doesn't have too much of pixels so it doesn't look very crisp that way but nonetheless the best bit is the connectivity option so i'm going to come to that as well so this eight inch screen is quite simple and there are buttons on on your right side for your easy access for your menu back volume i just wish there was a volume knob so that you know while driving is just becomes easier to you know operate that because otherwise you have to keep pressing that then there's a power on and off button and then on your main screen there is a clock and then on the right side you can see your media or whatever is going on and at the bottom there is a radio option there's a usb option and then there is the bluetooth option so in terms of the connectivity you can connect to this infotainment system using the bluetooth usb and there is also android auto and apple carplay which is the wired one but at least that returns 
on this one now and it's been offered on this hrv as well because the previous one was very 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 basic so now you can do a still a lot more stuff with it and then there is the settings option in which you can change your language and all of those things from your bluetooth audio display and everything so it's still pretty basic but nonetheless it gives you that essential connectivity feature so now you can also use your maps and also you can just play your music everything from this infotainment screen so yeah that's a very positive development now when you come to the charging you get two usb ports given on either side underneath the air conditioning control one is for your connectivity and one is dedicated just for charging and also in the rear you get two more usb ports which are given for the rear passenger now on this new hrv you get a panoramic sunroof but it cannot be opened but it's just a slidable one so you get a glass so you get more like a panoramic glass that way but in the back there's a bit of a procedure so you have to unlock these clips out here and then you can open it so either passenger in the rear can open and then have just that much of you know area open while the other passenger can still enjoy the shade so that's a clever thing but yeah you have to open it and then you have to store those covers for the roof somewhere in the car which is probably going to be in the boot now on this hrv you also get an sos button which is like an emergency feature so whenever you have an emergency you can just press that button if it's a medical emergency or it's an accident or anything you can just press that and a help is going to be sent your way soon and out here you get just your gear stick and also the buttons for your eco mode which has been given on this one and the hill descent control button which is also given now in terms of the storage you can put like a liter to liter and a half worth of bottle in the door cards and some more storage on the sides there are also two more flexible cup holders which are given out here in the center console and then there are these two storage options which are given for your phone and at the bottom again you can put your wallet and anything and it's like like uh, like a shelf which has been given so there are two layers to it there is also this glove box which is nice and big you can store a lot more in there there is also this hand rest in which you can again put your phones and wallets and that's about it and it's not a slidable one but a fixed one and in the rear for the rear passengers on the door cards there is no storage as such but there are just two cup holders which are given in the door cards and two more cup holders which are given in the arm rest also on this hrv you get the slidable sun visors yeah i wish they slided a little more but Another thing to mention is that the front glass now feels a little smaller because as I mentioned the car feels a little lower and more sleeker which is why the visibility in the front tends to be a little hampered sometimes especially on the top uh, view of it not just the bottom but the top for sure because yeah the the glass feels a little smaller for sure now when you come to the seats these are off white color leather seats which are perforated in the center they are not cooled or heated or anything but just for the design purposes and these seats are decently comfortable i would say they are not the super soft or like the softest but nonetheless for longer journeys they are quite decent and the seats are are just mechanically operated so you can just slide them or you can adjust them from the side as well there's also a decent amount of support underneath the thigh during the longer journeys and they are quite broad that way and also longer so they give you decent amount of support even at the bottom and also in the back as well there are these shoulders which are given and a uh, pretty chunky headrest as well but yeah the headrest seems a little harder sometimes but nonetheless for longer journeys it's going to be pretty fine because there is lots of space in the front as well where you can stretch your legs and anything not the driver because the driver is obviously driving but the passenger for sure so there is no lumbar control that you get on the seats and that, which is why sometimes that tends to be a little bit of a gap in your at the bottom but nonetheless the seats are quite okay for longer journeys as well a little bit softer would have been nicer but still it's a pretty decent offering on this new hrv now hop in the back and things are much more spacious out here because there's definitely a lot of space for sure now these seats are in my driving position and there is like fair bit of knee room out here the headroom yeah that's slightly compromised because my head is nearly touching the ceiling so someone above 
six feet may start brushing their head against the ceiling especially because there's a panoramic sunroof which is why there are like thicker edges on these uh, sides but when you come to the leg room you can slide your legs underneath the seats because these are mechanical seats so there's no motor or anything so you can easily get that extra bit of room to stretch your legs during the longer journeys and when you come to these seats again these are off-white leather seats in the perforated design in the center again only for the design purpose but not heated or the cooling ones and they offer decent amount of comfort that way although as i said slightly more comfortable would have been nicer and there is slight bit of you know underneath thigh support that i feel lacks because they are a little more horizontal than a little more inclined that way but the back angle is just about right when you sit on it and the seats in the center has a bit of a hump in here so when you're going to be sitting in the middle now my head is literally touching the ceiling right now so yeah it's not really for the the middle person and it's only for shorter journeys if you have someone in here but when you're not using these uh, middle seat then you can drop down this hand rest which yeah kind of just falls down and it makes this inclined angle and then you have these two normal cup holders not the flexible ones that you get on this one and they are right in the front but yeah it's a little low on the lower side also this hand rest but on the rest there is also a hand rest which you get with this one and also three head rest that you get with this hrv so overall there is decent amount of space out here which is what i like and also there are these covers for your panoramic sunroof so you can remove that and make it feel a lot more airier out here in the back there's also this pocket storage given in the driver and the passenger seat there's also this small bit of storage out here so that when you're charging the phone you can probably put it out here as well and there are also air conditioning vents which are given out here in the rear below the flow of air but it's a good thing that there are a couple of air conditioning vents which are given out here for the rear passengers as well so during the summers it's still going to be quite an easier thing to be hanging around in the back on this hrv and there are also speakers which are given in the door card so there are eight speakers which are given on this hrv and also on these windows on the hrv there is no pillar out here so it's like a one seamless glass which makes the visibility a lot more broader in here and which is what makes the cabin experience also a lot more airier than the previous generation so this 2022 honda hrv ex is powered by a 1.5 liter four cylinder inline naturally aspirated engine that produces 119 horsepower and 145 newton meters of torque and this 1.5 liter engine is the only engine option available on this hrv currently while this engine is also mated to a cvt transmission which was pretty much like the previous generation so the the engine and the gearbox combination is nearly identical to what was offered before but the only thing is that yeah it, the engine may sometimes feel a little stressed out like right now while you're accelerating and to make it a little worse the cvt makes that grumbling noise and it takes a little while to respond to your throttle response as well so yeah things get a little laid back with that engine and the gearbox but on a day-to-day -day basis it's pretty good because it gives you a very good efficiency from the 1.5 liter engine and the cvt combination and especially with the fuel prices right now through the roof this is going to be a pretty decent choice because this engine and cvt combination gives you a fuel economy of anywhere between 13 and a half to 14 kilometers per liter on a longer journeys and inside the city you will still find around 12 kilometers per liter that you will be able to squeeze out from this engine so it's kind of pretty balanced approach in terms of the offering because you get the kind of mixture of both the worlds so it's kind of all right now when you come to the steering wheel it's kind of a decent setup that you get although i like how the steering feels slightly better than the previous generation because now it doesn't feel very lazy in terms of changing the directions or anything but it's still pretty decent and plus there has been a 15 percent increase in the rigidity as well and which is why the the chassis itself feels quite robust that way 
I mean, 15% is quite minimal amount, but it's just the overall setup which has been done, which makes it a pretty easier to move around in this car. And especially, it feels slightly bigger than you know the previous HRV. And yeah, the steering is pretty pointy. It's decent, I would say. It's it's not going to be very sharp, but yeah, it doesn't understeer too much or anything. Now, when you come to the suspensions, they are on the softer side and they are kind of on the balanced one as well, but there is not much of a roll. So, let me do a slalom and show you. Yeah, it's when I try to turn it sharply, it takes a little while to change that direction, but the suspensions, yeah, they are kind of all right, they will pass well in terms of the comfort and the stability. So, that is pretty good now when you come to the noise and the vibrations there are some amount of noise that you will hear from the tires so there is a bit of a tire noise for sure especially at slightly higher speeds but the wind whooshing and everything is quite under control especially these windows are longer but yeah there is not much of the wind whooshing that you will hear the only other major noise that you will hear is this engine when you are accelerating now there are also a couple of modes which is your normal driving mode and also the econ mode so when i put it in econ things are even more laid back because then now the car is trying to be more efficient for you but yeah just drive it in the normal mode there are also paddle shifters but again it's a cvt so if you feel the urge or if you're missing taking the control of your car then just short change it using these paddle shifters which are it's not going to be the, the effect is not going to be quite visible when you are changing through those CVT gears but yeah it's just for the fun if you want to do it now when you come to the brakes there are four disc brakes on this Honda HRV and to show you the performance from that let me accelerate to 100 and do an emergency brake stop quite grippy I would say the brakes are quite good and also the pedal setup is quite nice there is a good travel to it there is a good weight to it as well and it's pretty progressive that way there is also an emergency stop signal that kicks in when you are braking so all of those safety systems are also in here now when it come to the safety systems on this hrv you get six airbags on this particular ex model you get six airbags two for the front driver and the passenger two side airbags again for the driver and the passenger and also the curtain airbags on the frames as well and in terms of the other safety systems you also get the child isofix points there is also abs there is also lane departure warning there is also the lane keep assist there is also adaptive cruise control there's also honda sensing that senses objects around and keeps warning you there's also a reminder if you forget anything in the seats so all of those basic and quite honest the up-to-date safety systems which is pretty much offered across the segment has been given on this hrv as well now when it come to the pricing so the base model of this hrv which is the dx comes in at 84,900 dirhams while the mid version which is the lx comes in at 89,900 dirhams there are certain upgrades that you get in terms of the music system in terms of you know the features offered and this top spec which is the L the ex is offered at 99,900 dirhams now it's it's kind of a mixed bag of you know what is offered out here you sure get a lot of improvements in terms of the connectivity now this new infotainment screen there's also the refined cabin that is nice bit of you know design to it there's more minimalist approach out here instead of yeah putting a lot of things you know in in modern day cars where you have a lot of things going on and there are like buttons and everything out here it's also spacious i really like the space factor in here because it's good for family it's just that the middle seat in the rear is little elevated and which is why it's not going to be used for a longer distance but nonetheless there is quite a bit of space and everything that you can use on this car so it's just if there was one more engine option that would have made yeah a lot more sense because if people want to have a little more powerful options then that was already there with this one then 
anyways but it's still not a bad combination considering that you get fresh styling now which is quite welcome and it honestly looks quite all right when you compare it to a lot of competitors in his segment so yeah it's it's an overall all right i feel the base and the mid levels are the ones to go for so if you're looking to buy a compact suv then definitely check this car out and get a test drive of it anyways that is pretty much it for this video give this video a thumbs up and thank you for watching this video and if you want to subscribe to my channel then you can click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video bye bye take care and stay safe